Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at some of the top things that can damage your starter motor armature. The armature is a critical rotating component inside the starter motor, responsible for generating electromagnetic force needed to crank the engine. You know, when electricity is supplied through this commutator to these windings, it will generate magnetic field. This iron core will amplify that magnetic field and this magnetism will be used in order to generate the cranking force that is required for turning over the engine. Now, damage to the armature can lead to slow cranking, it can lead to noise such as grinding noise for example, or it can lead to complete failure of the starter motor. So, in this video, we will be looking at some of the things that can cause damage to the armature and that can lead to starter motor failure. Well, the first thing that is very deadly to the starter motor armature is heat, excessive heat generation. If excessive heat is generated in this electromagnetic coil, that is due to overheating or prolonged cranking or poor ventilation, and that will lead to insulation failure. You know, these electromagnetic wires, they are insulated from the body, and they are also insulated from each other. They should only be connected to each other through the commutator segment. Otherwise, if they shorted out, that will cause starter motor failure. So the first thing, the first deadly thing that can damage the starter motor armature is excessive heat. This will be causing weakness in the insulation. It will melt solders that are joining the tips to the commutator. It can also deform the winding. So heat is the number one killer of starter motor armature. Well, what will lead to the heat that is generated inside the starter motor? Well. That will lead us to the second problem, overcranking. Excessive starter motor usage is another cause. When excessive starter motor cranking by holding the ignition key in start position for too long, that will cause armature failure. That will lead to overheating, that will lead to insulation failure, and that will lead to starter motor failure. So overheated armature coils lead to burnouts. Always make sure that you are cranking for a very short period. This overcranking can be done by holding the ignition key for longer period on the start, or sometimes it will be caused by as a result of a faulty ignition switch. If the ignition switch will remain stuck on the start position, or if the starter relay is sticking, even though you have disconnected the starter ignition key, it might stay still running or crank the engine. This could be very deadly. Armature spins unnecessarily leading to overheating and leading to wear. So prolonged cranking, either as a result of a faulty use of ignition key or as a result of a relay sticking or faulty ignition switch can be very deadly to the armature. The other thing that can cause a failure of the armature is when there is a problem with the overrunning clutch. This is a very critical component to prevent damage to the armature. Now, it is the armature's responsibility to run the engine and then the engine should not be driving the armature in reverse. If once the engine is started, you hold the ignition key and uh, keep it there, the engine will start spinning the armature. Now, because the engine flywheel or flexiplate has multiple teeth, when that large number of teeth is rotating, this tiny small teeth, that will accelerate the armature at extremely high speed. That can cause centrifugal damage. Centrifugal force will damage the coil and it will lead to fracture of the armature as a whole so it should be always make sure that the overrunning clutch is very functional it should be the one disconnecting power flow when the engine is tending to drive the armature look it should be disconnecting power flow but when the starter motor armature is rotating it should be transmitting power but when the engine is tending to spin it should be disconnecting so if there is a problem with the overrunning clutch and the engine starts engaging the armature and spinning it at high speed that can also be a cause for premature armature failure. This will happen as a result of not functioning uh, starter clutch or as a result of the driver not releasing the ignition key on time. The other thing that can cause premature armature failure is poor electrical connection. This poor electrical connection as a result of loose contact as the commutator segment and the brush lose contact at the battery terminals or battery cables or lose soldered connection. If these solders, for example, if there is a loose somewhere on the soldering of the terminals, that could be also causing problem. Inconsistent current flow will result inside the armature winding. That inconsistent 
current flow will cause arcing. That arcing will cause damage to the winding. So inconsistent current flow as a result of uh, poor electrical connection is another cause of uh, armature failure. The other thing that can damage the starter motor armature is battery problem. If there is weak battery, for example, weak battery, they force the starter to draw excessive current because the starter motor RPM is not strong enough for starting over the engine. That will force the starter motor to draw excessive current. You know, when the armature is not spinning at high speed, if it is restricted from spinning further, that will cause increased current draw. That will lead to overheating of the armature. So weak or dying battery is another cause for armature failure. Dirty or worn commutator segment. If this commutator segment is somehow dirty, if it is irregular, if the brushes are not riding smoothly, that can cause carbon buildup and uneven wear of the commutator bars, and that will somehow hinder the electrical flow. Poor electrical contact will be there. That will result in sparking at the commutator segment, or it will cause arcing, and that can lead to premature brush failure, premature armature failure as a result. Worn brush is another cause of a very frequent one. A very frequent cause of starter motor malfunction is usually worn out brush. This is this could be a natural wheel as a result of uh, long with long use. So this will lead to inconsistent power transfer to the armature. Uh, this will cause arcing at the commutator segment. So you might happen to notice that some of the commutator segments they get burned out, they get glazed. All this as a result of uh, worn out brush that are providing inconsistent current supply to the starter motor armature. The other problem associated with armature failure is when there is oil or grease contamination. Sometimes these bearings are lubricated with oil or grease. If the grease leaks and comes in contact with the commutator segment, that will cause problem. Leaking engine can sometimes contaminate the starter motor with oil. So this will cause dirt to accumulate inside the bearing, dirt to accumulate on the commutator segment. All this will reduce insulation and it will cause short circuit. If there is excessive Grease accumulated somewhere here that will short circuit the commutator segment leading to starter motor failure. So oil or grease contamination is another cause of uh, premature armature malfunction. In some extreme cases, due to mechanical problems, there might be bending of the armature shaft. This there is an armature shaft that is continuously going through. It comes out through the starter pinion side. So if there is a some kind of misalignment, if this is somehow bent, that will cause this iron core to rub against the starter motor field coil poles. That will cause damage, mechanical damage to the armature. So bent or misaligned armature part. If this is basically as a result of a physical damage or improper installation, this will result in uneven rotation, it will result in grinding, or it, it can even result in bearing failure. So misaligned or bent armature is very deadly to the starter motor as well. If there is short circuit in this winding, short circuit in the armature winding, it could be shorted to the ground or it could be shorted to each other. See, in every passage here, there are usually two windings. There are usually two copper wires that are passing through a single slot. If the insulation between those two fails, they will get shorted out. Or if the insulation preventing this coil from contacting the iron core fails, that will be grounded to the body of the armature. So that will be also, that will reduce electromagnetic efficiency and uh, that can even lead to overheating. When there is short circuit, that will usually result in excessive current flow that will cause overheating of the entire starter motor. The other thing that can damage starter motor armature is vibration. If there is a Increased vibration inside the starter motor. This is usually as a result of a mounting problem. If there is loose starter motor mounting, or if there is engine misfire that is causing vibration to the engine, that excessive vibration have a tendency of uh, damaging the starter motor armature. So armature winding become loose as a result of excessive vibration, or it might break over time. You know, these are usually prevented from uh, motion by this kind of tie. You see, there are there are this kind of bands that are preventing winding mov movement, but excessive vibration might dislodge, and uh, it might cause some kind of dislocation of the starter motor winding. So they might get 
dislocated as a result of excessive vibration. Water and uh, moisture contamination is another cause of uh, starter motor armature failure. Driving through deep water, for example, or exposure to humidity can cause moisture or water to get trapped. This will result in corrosion, rust, and that will cause short circuit in the winding. So this is another cause of uh, the starter motor failure. Incorrect starter motor installation is another problem that can cause failure to the starter motor armature. If there is a misalignment, for example, if there is wrongly aligned bolt, if there is some kind of misalignment, that will strain the armature shaft and it will strain the bearings as well. The bearings, they have to be perfectly aligned in order to have a smooth rotation. If there is some kind of misalignment, if there is an installation problem, wrong alignment can cause failure of the armature as well. If there is high resistance in the starter circuit, this is electrically, if there is increased resistance, if there is bad grounding, corroded terminals, or undersized cable, for example, this will force the starter motor to work harder, leading to armature overheating and leading to premature armature failure as a result. The other things that can cause failure to the starter motor is when there is a problem with the flywheel or when there is a problem with the flexi plate. This will engage to the flywheel ring gear or to the flexi plate gear. If it is worn or chipped, then that will cause damage. It will result in grinding noise. It will grind. It will sometimes cause jamming of the pinion gear. And it will also sometimes result in stress on the starter motor armature shaft. So if there is a problem on the gear that is going to be meshed to the starter motor pinion, that can also cause damage or that can be resulting in noisy engagement. So as the pinion slides out, it should be smoothly engaging to the flywheel or to the flexi plate teeth there is some kind of problem there that will cause grinding noise that can even cause jamming of the teeth and this is also damaging to the starter motor armature. Bearing failure is another problem associated with armature. If there is a problem with this bearing, see armatures are mounted on both sides with a bearing. You can see there is a bearing here. For example, now this bearing is a little dry. It needs replacement. This one is running nice. This one is running smoothly but this one is a little bit damaged, so if there is a problem with the bearing, armature bearing failure as a result of lack of lubrication or as a result of dirt accumulation in here, uh, as a result of some kind of contamination, the bearings may fail, so that will cause the shaft to wobble, that will lead to grinding noise, or that can even lead to winding failure. If the bearing is completely damaged, it will become extremely noisy, it will become very difficult to spin the armature smoothly, and that can also lead to wobbly operation, grinding noise, and uh, winding damage can also result as a result of failure of this bearing. So make sure that the bearings are in good shape. If they need replacement, it's a good idea to replace them with a very original bearings. Excessive load from the engine is another cause that can damage the starter motor armature. You know, when the starter motor armature is engaged to the engine, the engine has to have the least resistance so that the starter motor can easily crank. But if there is a problem with the engine, for example, if there is thick oil, that can increase friction. Or if there is a, if the engine is being driven in cold weather, if the engine has some mechanical issues, it might be difficult to turn it over. That can cause additional stress on the starter motor. So that will lead to overworking of the armature, and that can cause damage to the armature. So excessive engine load, excessive cranking resistance can also be damaging to the starter motor armature. And finally, the other things that can cause the starter motor armature failure is natural age and wear, tear and age related tear, natural degradation over time. Armature windings, they are not forever, they will weaken out, they can lead to failure. So this is basically as a result of excessive use, as a result of wear and tear, gradual wear and tear. So if it is old enough, it might fail as a result. So these are some of the things. So what can you do in order to detect armature failure? The first one, the first symptom of a failure of the armature is you will experience slow cranking. If the engine is cranking very slowly, that could be an indication of armature failure. Or if you happen to notice only clicking noise and uh, no starting at all, that could be associated with uh, armature failure as well. If you happen to have a burning smell coming out of the starter motor, and if you have visible damage on the winding, if you happen to have a blackened winding or melted solders, that could be an indication of a problematic starter motor armature. 
So always make sure that the armature is in good condition. You can test it with a multimeter. You can test the windings for open circuit, short circuit, or grounding. All that can be done with a multimeter. Or if you have a growler tester, you can place it on a growler tester and uh, check for the insulation resistance, short circuit, and all that kind of measurement can be done. In order to avoid premature armature failure, always avoid prolonged cranking. Maximum 10 seconds. You should be cranking a maximum of 10 seconds. Then it will be a good idea to have a break between the cranks, wait for the starter motor to cool a little, and then do another crank. Instead of holding the ignition key for longer periods, that will result in overheating of the armature. That will cause armature overheating, will cause insulation failure and uh, gradual armature failure as well. Always make sure that your starter motor is in good shape. Maintain battery health. It has to be clean. It has to be with proper voltage. And try to fix if there are mechanical problems preventing engine rotation as well. Always make sure that the engine is easy to rotate. And finally, if you happen to replace any of the starter motor components, make sure that you are using original equipment manufacturer parts. Don't go for cheap parts that last only for, for a short period. Always make sure that you are using original parts that will prolong the service life of your starter motor armature. So dear viewers, a damaged armature can leave you stranded. So by understanding these top things that are causing starter motor armature failure, you can prevent starter failure. So, and by doing so, you can extend its lifespan. If your starter shows sign of trouble, then test it. Take corrective action immediately. And uh, that will help you avoid bigger problems down the line. Well, viewers, that is all we have for you regarding some of the top causes of uh, armature failure. If you find this video helpful, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.